Can you see me? I I'm right there. You need to watch very carefully, but I'm there. This mod adds the Pope. And apparently he's schizophrenic here because he hears voices, but he is convinced that it's Jesus. So if you hear voices talking to you, don't worry, that is Jesus. The voices. <laughs> we can either be friendly with Mussolini or we can go against them. I really want to see what a Pope revolution looks like. Yeah, let's do this before they get home from Ethiopia. Oh, uh, they, they just got encircled in Ethiopia and killed. Apparently 612,000 people live in the Vatican. What? Italy gets minus 20% stability from radicalized masses. We're just announcing over the radio that the Pope hears voices that say that Italy's kind of stinky. Please, Ethiopia, just last 40 days. You can do it. I believe in you. Because we get 10 divisions. So yeah, we kind of need you to take away the majority of the divisions. Wait a second, who are you? Papal Italy. Oh. Okay, now that's a bit scary, but they're my puppet apparently, so let's go. And everyone is taking bits of a dying Italian empire. Whoopsie, I just saw a capitulation there, we need to hurry this up. There's a significant hard out with the Italian army here. Why are there five of my divisions in China? Those are from the Catholic uprising, why do they spawn in China? I mean, they're losing a lot of men against me, but uh, I'm out of men. Those five divisions over here would really help, but no, they're in China. I managed to get a little breakthrough and I think I'm kind of stretching my forces a bit thin here, I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, uh, I stretch them a bit too thin. Ah, but do not be concerned, the AI is just leaving. Thanks to the genius of the AI deciding to move half their units to the left, we now have some pocketed and I think we might be able to win the war. Please kill them! Kill! A, a tank just drove in and wants to be encircled. Fine with me! Huh? Why is my... Huh? Uh... I think the voices he heard is truly Jesus. They have 36 divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the rest? Where are the 32 divisions? I've tech switched over just to see what Italy's doing. Yeah. Apparently Somaliland is a very dangerous front right now, you know? Thank God for the stupid AI. I mean, I'm the Pope. Maybe this is God helping me out. My puppet is trying to steal. You're supposed to be on my side. I kind of managed to scam Ethiopia out of Eritrea. No idea how I did that. I don't know what this is, but uh, the voices grow ceaseless. <laughs> Apparently the Pope collapsed. Apparently the voices were not God. The Prince of Hell will take. I feel like hell. This is the Prince of Hell. I would have expected something else. Apparently the Prince of Hell is communist. <laughs> Apparently some diplomats came over, but see that our entire country is burning. So, uh, yeah, welcome to Italy. <laughs> Wait, what? The devil communicated with Hitler by appearing in his dreams, and he was very angry, so now we're not friends anymore. <laughs> we can uh, try to infiltrate France, so let's see how that goes. So far, our diplomacy was very great. Do do it, Mr. President. Uh, okay, that actually what? Uh, that was not a lot. Oh, <laughs> Didn't expect that one. Let's help the communists because if they win, apparently we get some territory. We have Yujo Cavallero leading our army as a field marshal. Then we have George from Suri. Um, and then we have the flesh starved beasts. I see the French copied the Italian way of just leaving the border. Well, yeah, that was a fairly easy civil war there. By now, the stories of attrition and depraved behavior have reached the ears of a British. Excuse me, we're doing very good things over here. Neville Chamberlain comes to the table. Honestly, kinda expected. For Neville Chamberlain to try appeasement with a devil, kinda seems obvious. So let's ask for all of North Africa. They accept it. Excuse me, Cairo? Uh, that, is, that is definitely North Africa. I'll come to the Vatican, Franco. Don't mind for burning bodies. Apparently they want Franco back, who we kinda took, but um... Our prisoner... Is dead. Ah, uh, we're just gonna go in there next time. This is way easier when you actually have an army and can produce guns and have men Ah! We're really going for full evil mode here. I mean, we have a prince of hell, who is an ugly chicken apparently or something. Apparently we can assimilate every state with sin. I would say we have enough sin since, you know, the whole burning people thing. I mean, we literally killed the Pope. And we're a chicken. That's the biggest sin of them all. <laughs> I say, excuse me, what? <laughs> ah! Fast, boys, fast! I was gonna invade Portugal, but I guess we're gonna skip that. For some reason, we flooded Paris. With sewage water. No, not sure what the aim here is. Also, we don't control Paris, so, uh... 
Yeah, no clue what our plan was. We just wanted to see people suffer, didn't we? I managed to stabilize this front, but, um... Yeah. Now this front is breaking. Germany's burning a lot of troops right now. I don't think they can keep this up. We're gonna become the Pendue... Pen... Panda... Pan, panda Emonium. The, with a Panda Emonium. Also, an uh, ever invalid location or missing victory point for rename. Yeah, welcome to hell, by the way. You're being bombed from above while there are burning corpses next to you. Because hell cannot afford airplanes. Sure. Get me into there. I lost the Maginos ages ago, but they just can't push. And I kind of like that. So yeah, go on. Lose another 1.3 million men. The Cathedrals of Hellfire. That gives us construction speed. Yeah, um... Can we get something that shoots Germans? Ah, now that should help us for five seconds. However, I noticed the Germans are running out of equipment, so I think we just need to hold for another month or two and we will be fine. The Germans are now in service by requirement, so yeah, not going too popping over there. Shouldn't have been scared of me appearing in your dreams. It was the most efficient way of communicating. Yeah, Yugoslavia, I thank you for your amazing help. But yeah, I don't think you changed much in the end. Now that's just rude. Why are you all of a sudden not chill with the devil anymore? Oh, but wait, now I can join the Soviets. I don't know what changed, but I think as soon as I became the Pandeo, Pandai, the Panda exhibit, I was allowed to join people. So yeah, go on, Soviets. Save my ass. Uh, could you please leave the Magino and uh, go help your Soviet front? Uh, I kind of want to get those boys out. They've been suffering for quite a lot. I like the concentration of German troops. On the Magino line, 50 divisions. Over here, 7. Yeah, only issue is France is about to break free because they have contributed so much to the war score. So I have to send them all my stuff to keep them in my sphere. The messengers of Satan are now going to be our chief of air force. Excuse me, what? How did you manage that? You're literally next to Danzig. I keep upgrading the highways in France so that they don't escape from being my puppet. So yeah, if you live in France right now, congratulations. The devil built your highway. Berlin, baby. Oh, wait, no, one second, one second, one second. Give me just one second, give me just one second. Oh, give me just one second. I right, never mind. UK, I don't know what it is with you, but I don't think Denmark is the danger right now. Oh, I don't know what the Soviets are doing. They have migrated all the way down there and are now somehow over here in Yugoslavia. But you just barely took back Kiev. And we finally took Berlin. Oh. Alright, Mr. Headline, now we can communicate person to person. I guess he didn't like communicating with me person to person. Who the hell is Dieter Beermann? I don't know who Dieter Beermann is, but he's now in hell. Which is called the Panda Ammonium or something. For some reason, we divided Hungary in two and also gave them a bit of Yugoslavia. And overall, I think this is a great mod and I can't wait for them to add those two focus tree paths. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.